On two separate sets, she worked with two distinct directors. The rise of backing for Amber Heard goes so far as to include a DCEU divergence that is frequently derided. Not to start off with too many underwater puns, but there seems to be a sea change coming ahead of the release of Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, with Amber Heard receiving far more support than some internet communities might have grown accustomed to. Much of it is based on newly released court documents that claim Jason Momoa and James Wan actively wanted her fired from the DC Extended Universe because of the negative press resulting from her high-profile legal disputes with Johnny Depp, who reportedly wore attire very similar to the Pirates of the Caribbean star. The Caribbean's top draw for reasons that don't exactly sound like they were carried out for laughs. Naturally, Warner Bros. has made it quite clear, or at least wants everyone to believe so, that Herd's Mirror will barely appear in the sequel at all, despite receiving one noteworthy shot in a teaser that lasted about 160 seconds. In any case, it's a change of heart to see people coming to her defense, and that defense even extended to a Reddit thread where many questioned her choice to use a British accent in Zack Snyder's Justice League. We can't honestly say that her attempt was anything other than terrible, but it's not like she would have come up with it on her own. As mentioned it was likely a Snyder decision that James Wan was just not interested in reproducing because Heard wasn't in a position to put demands on an IP the magnitude of the DCU in the comments and responses. Given that her attempt at a British brogue was abjectly bad and roundly mocked, Wan's decision to disregard Snyder's original vision and have her use her own tones turned out to be the wiser one. Actors generally follow instructions unless they are permanently near the top of the list.